Alright guys and welcome back. Um, let's continue the work with the animations and um, last time we made this uh, character ready inside Motion Blender and um, what I want to show here in the beginning is actually um, one of the animation starter pack uh, animations that I uh, want to use to um, you know fit the the, the rifle that I want to use later on. So I'm gonna search for iron side idle. So uh, this animation here, and that also allows me to talk a little bit about uh, some of the problems uh, you might face if you uh, start working with this the way I did. Um, so. Let's see if I just I'm just gonna God damn it, pause this one and um, yeah well okay um, if I just uh, hit export to this animation here uh, and then just save it in our tutorial folder uh, by the way it's gonna ask you if you want to export the the current skeletal mesh with it so actually I think it's pretty good idea to do this in this situation because I want to illustrate something um, and also notice that if you right click out here and say assert actions and export you will not get that option to export the the mesh along with it so that's a little nice little thing to know if you want to have that uh, mesh exported along with the animation so anyway, if I bring this animation into uh, Maya to check uh, how it looks, um, so I hit import and select the animation I just selected, uh, export it. Uh, notice the feet here, but more importantly, um, notice the shoulders. They are completely dislocated. And you might remember from some of the epic beginner uh, videos talking about how you need to do something with retargeting and selecting the skeleton instead of the animation and so on. And that is actually the reason why you need to do this. Because uh, we can do to see, watch this uh, problem inside Maya, we can do something similar as we did in Motion Builder. We can um, uh, select the mesh and under layers, I can create a layer from selected and I can click this V and that is going to hide this uh, this mesh here. Um, but what you will notice is that if I select this one, which is the upper arm twist as we looked at before, you will see that this joint is now animated all, uh, halfway down his upper arm actually. And this is actually uh, the reason why the shoulder is dislocated because we have skin weights on the, um, that joint here. So um, you can actually see this if you select, we have this upper arm twist selected. So I believe if you click move here, yep, you will see that the skin is deforming uh, uh, because it's uh, skinned to this joint here. So that's worth uh, noting that when you export that you will get the animation not the, the what, what you will see in here because um, if I uh, show advanced options I can see that my spine and all the way down to some of the IK uh, joints here are set to skeleton and chances are that yours uh, are the same so um, if you right click here and say Okay, uh, recursively set animation uh, t translation targeting to animation. Voila, there you have exact same result as you have inside Maya. So that is hopefully a good way to illustrate um, why some of uh, these exports are going to be a little bit problematic. Uh, but there's a way uh, to work around this, luckily. Uh, so I'm just going to set this back to animation. Translation retarget skeleton. Uh, there we go. So that's going to bring the guy back in the, in the 
original state. So the way to get this animation here out of Unreal, as far as I can tell, is uh, by using the record button up here. Uh, so that allows us to record an animation. And what that does is actually to record what we see here. So this is a record what you see is what you get button. Um, but the thing is that, uh, that once you press record, uh, it's going to say, okay, um, what, what, what do we want to call this animation and where do we want to put it? And then as soon as you click OK, it's going to start recording. So you just hit cancel here in this situation here. So a little trick for getting this uh, right um, is to first note how many keys you have on this animation here. And then you want to, uh, to begin with, press the play. So the animation is already playing. And watch the slider down here. So once it hits the beginning here, around the beginning, you want to hit the record and that's going to pause it. So here, so right about here, I just pressed record. So I select the folder. I'm just going to select my debug folder. Um, could maybe have created a folder called export or something. So I'm going to give this the name uh, idle rifle sites and call it uh, underscore SA for skeletal animation. And once I hit OK, it's going to start recording. And I'm going to let it record all the way until it passes this time here. So I'm just going to wait and I can press here once I want to stop it. So I want to say, OK, now it passed it and I'm going to press stop. OK. So now I have my animation saved and I can go into my debug folder where I can find this animation I just recorded. And I can see that the animation I recorded is 206 keys uh, frames long. So what I want to do is I want to scrub this animation up until, uh, well, can just take zero actually. Uh, and, and the reason I can do this is because this is just an idle cycling animation. Uh, if I have a, walking animation, which needs me to be beginning at a specific foot. I need to scrub the animation until he is at approximately that position. And uh, then I can uh, basically apply the same uh, technique as I'm showing here. So I'm just going to put the animation somewhere uh, well, close to where I was. And uh, since I'm on frame 7.16, means I'm on a sub key I want to press this to previous that puts me on a, a, a whole key and then I'm gonna hit remove frame zero to whatever and then I have 200 keys left and I want it to be exactly 189 in this situation because that's what the original one was so I'm gonna scrub all the way up to 190 I think and hit Right click at the red box here and say remove um, all this. Actually, I need to just remove one more key. So I'm going to go all the way to the end and press one back. Um, come on. Uh, Remove frame. I need to remove just the last frame. What if I get that option? Mm. Okay, for some reason I can't really select the last frame. gives me remove from frame uh, 188 okay maybe okay there we go we need to click apparently somewhere specific I can't really figure out where that is 
So that leaves me 189 uh, keys. So if I press play and watch the animation closely, uh, for example around the hands, I shouldn't see any uh, hiccup and the, the animation should loop again. Okay, so um, just go ahead and save that and uh, you can close that one up. And um, I want to export that. Uh, actually, let me go in here and export that as well uh, using this one. So we can get the, the skeleton mesh out again. And let's uh, just for the sake of this uh, demonstration review it inside uh, Maya first. So um, import. And we have uh, 189 keys. So already now you should be able to see that uh, the animation is looking correct. So we have the, the correct animation now. Okay. So um, with that, um, I want to take uh, it into Motion Builder. And uh, the way to do this is to say Motion File Import and select this iron sights SA and that's going to bring up this so merge in the, the motion and it's going to complain that something is uh, trying to merge 69 models onto 70 models I'm not really sure why it says that um, but I haven't really figured out what t things doesn't match up um, it's pretty safe to just skip this one. Um, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. So that brings out uh, the guy inside the motion builder in the same pose as we had before, and he's looking correct. So um, this hopefully in, um, kind of uh, illustrates some of the things you might encounter when you try to take an animation from uh, Unreal Engine and work with it inside Motion Builder or for that sake inside Maya and end up being puzzled that the, the mesh is not matching up anymore. Um, so and it's a nice technique to know if you need to uh, refit things like a rifle for example <laughs> like I want to do in the next tutorial. Um, so um, I think I'm going to cut this video here um, and um, yeah, actually I'm just going to save this one. I'm going to save this as uh, Motion Builder Template 2. Um, yeah, because yeah, it's going to be nice to have and I forgot to rename the take uh, as I did before. I'm going to call this uh, Idle Rival. Okay. Uh, because now we can just switch in between two uh, takes. Okay, um, so thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.